If you are just joining us uh, this first day of October on Morning at TV, for those that have been with us, many thanks for staying put. We are now taking note of the launch of the Uganda National Land Information System public portal, what that means and how the registration, especially when it comes to land issues, is concerned. Shortly, I'll be introducing my guests who will be helping us understand the latest development and how it intends, or rather, is going to revolutionize the conduct of business and duty. The Uganda National Land Information System Public Portal is an integrated digital platform designed to manage land administration processes in the country. The public web portal is the newest addition to that and it's aimed at providing the public with easy online access to land information. Through this portal, Ugandans should be able to benefit immensely when it comes to how and when they make the big decisions on land. In studio this morning, we are joined by the Commissioner Land Registration at the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Baker Mugaino. Many thanks for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for hosting us. We are also joined by Lenin Victor Onyu. He is the head of the National Land Information Center at the Ministry. Many thanks for joining us. Thank you and uh, thank you for hosting us. Great. Let me begin with the Commissioner. Yes, please. Take us through what this uh, innovation and uh, platform is all about. The Uganda Public Portal uh, uh, is a portal that uh, uses access to information mm. and uh, it enables uh, uh, the government of Uganda to be more accountable and mm. transparent to the citizen of Uganda to, uh, for them to access the land records, uh, minimizing uh, corruption, mm. uh, enhancing uh, private sector competitiveness, That's right. and uh, reducing the bottlenecks to access to information mm. for, for easy transparency and investment in the land sector. Okay. So it's a portal that uh, uh, reduces the bureaucracy that has been involved in uh, uh, making uh, searches within the land registry yeah. uh, through uh, use of technology to solve some of the problems that we have been uh, facing within the sector. Mm. Yes. Okay, but uh, one supported that, uh, by uh, our uh, World Bank, funded by the World Bank, mm -hmm. and uh, IGNFI and implemented by the government of Uganda through oh. the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development. Okay. That's no doubt something that is uh, revolutionary, no doubt. The head of the National Land Information Center, what I do understand by that is that you are responsible for the building of this uh, uh, structure and the system that is bound to improve things. One thing I can say is that land registration and acquisition is one hard paper in this country and the fact that this as the commissioner says is bound to open up uh, is is a welcome opportunity what does it involve really am i for example going to be able to get about everything i need if i just log on and not be afraid about fraud and acquiring fake documents or losing land is that something that is really achievable. Uh, thank you very much. Mm. Uh, we, we've we've had the cry yeah. of the people for a long time, but it's not that we have been uh, sitting. Mm. Um, we've been doing a lot of work. We started um, the process of uh, modernization of the land registry, particularly digitizing the records mm. uh, back in the year of 2013. A lot of work has been has been done, and most of that work uh, has been done from the back end. Yeah. Uh, the process has been how best uh, can we modernize our processes from the back end, digitize our processes mm -hmm. before we would show our hand yeah. to to the public. Right. And um, I can assure you now, um, a lot has been done. One to combat issues in regards to fraud. Um, you would hear a lot of um, a lot of things coming up now. Why? Because the system has been able to identify uh, a lot of them. That's why you uh, you you see more like there is a lot in uh, a lot of fraud because the system has been able to identify fight, most yeah. of those. Uh, those issues. Mm -hmm. uh, the complaint, of course, has been the cry of you've been digitizing. Mm -hmm. We do not see anything. You, everything <laughs> still seems manual yeah. to us. But uh, it was because before you come 
to talk to your neighbor. Mm -hmm. You need to first clean up your house. That's so cool. most of the processes have been done in the back end. Now we are now beginning to show our hand to the public. We are saying, how can we now engage with you? How can we begin to eliminate manual-based processes? Mm. How can we begin to improve on, uh, on service delivery? Mm. How can we begin to be effective and efficient? And that's why we are saying, okay, what are the key services that Ugandans need mm. to combat issues like fraud? Okay. And we're like, let's begin with that. Let's introduce the public portal. Mm -hmm. What can you do with the public portal? The public portal now allows you to be able to verify authenticity mm -hmm. of property from your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. It could be your bed, it could be your home, it could be at the comfort of your office. As long as you have the smartphone. As in long your as you have the smartphone. Mm -hmm. So it allows you to search for property. It allows you to be able to identify the shape of your parcel. Mm. It allows you to track your transaction as opposed to calling or coming to Ministry of Lands to find out how far mm. with my transaction. This portal now allows you to, to do that. Okay. So that's what we have been looking at. All right. It's no doubt a, a great innovation and one that uh, is bound to make things easier. But just like it sounds, making things easier, it means at the back end there are aspects that ought to be completely rectified in order for this to be simpler. And let me just return to the commissioner. When it comes to the success stories at the back end, when it comes to the information that is uploaded on the portal to be accessed by those that might want it, I do not know how best that has been rectified. Over the years, there has been cases, for example, where the wrong information is inputted and uh, that also causes another problem because me, if I open the portal and it's what you've put and maybe the, uh, the data entrance there have also been, uh, for example, compromised, it poses another problem. So how best has the back end been, uh, whether, I don't know how to describe it, dealt with? Dealt with, yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, of course, the public portal is anchored on our land information system. Mm. And the land information system has been undergoing a continuous improvement process. Yeah. And that continuous improvement process means that we continuously clean up data. And one of the uh, uh, advantages of the LIS is that it enabled us to identify some of the inconsistencies that we had within our land registration system. Mm. For example, when you look at uh, uh, some of the titles that were registered at the colonial time, mm. uh, some of them were registered using assumed coordinates, and now we are using a GIS-based system. Mm. So those are the of the titles that we are calling for resurvey. For re yes, okay. so this data cleaning is a continuous exercise that we are doing. Mm. However, that in itself does not stop us from uh, using the advantages mm. of the system that we have. Yes, the public portal. Okay. Because one of the, the core principles of uh, the uh, land management, the policies of the government of Uganda, mm. is accessibility and transparency of land records. Mm. And the only way we can have this accessibility and transparency is by having these land rec records easily accessed to by the members of the public. Mm. And of course, uh, uh, this public portal is going to uh, be enhanced also to have a corporate portal so that even some registered uh, professionals like advocates and surveyors and the banks can also access this information easily. Uh, also that includes uh, uh, the MDAs like the judiciary mm. so that uh, uh, the judiciary is able to access this, uh, this public portal so that even some of the court uh, orders and decrees can be registered directly by the judiciary on the public portal. Mm. Uh, all this is to uh, en enhance the land governance uh, function. And uh, we hope that, uh, 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 and what we are calling for from the members of the public, including you, the media, mm. it support uh, the government of Uganda to make this a reality. Okay. Thank you. Mm. All right. That is no doubt something. You preempted my next question because I was going to ask land cases are very, very many across the country. In case some of the information is needed to be used in the courts of law, how easily accessible this one information is. It is something you've uh, ably put across. But user friendliness is a challenge. Accessibility can be achieved. 
but user friendliness, especially to those who are marginalized, who are usually the most victimized when it comes to land issues. Those people are in the rural areas. The, sh the mere handling of a mobile phone in case they are approaching a court and have to find out something is non-existent. How are they, have you thought about them, especially when it comes to onboarding technology? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, our, our core business has been uh, majorly with um, um, to our answer, um, to our answer. as we would okay. because those are our biggest uh, landlords yeah. in, the, in in this country. Mm. The the government's uh, strategy with the ministry is uh, is, a, is a reach out uh, kind of uh, strategy. Mm. We've had what we call uh, barazas that we, we we reach out to 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 communities. We have programs that go deep to the levels of uh, of the sub counties to sensitize. People one on the importance of uh, registration of uh, of property, but also on how to achieve mm. uh, technology. As you are aware, the ministry had a centralized structure mm. years and years, whereby anyone who needed to register property had to come to the ministry headquarters yeah. at Parliament Avenue. That's right. But as we speak now. We have 22 regional offices across the country, mm. serving um, all, all all people from within within those regions. So we we, we, we we are deliberately reaching out to to people um, uh, down there to to help them understand, to help them learn how best they can actually access uh, the land information systems portal to be able to validate uh, or verify uh, property within, 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 within their reach. And this is a program that is ongoing. Tomorrow we are going to be in Wakiso, mm. uh, in, in our office. We will be launching these portals across the entire country. So we are starting with uh, Wakiso and, um, and Busiro. We have called upon the district leadership. We have called upon the the, 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 the locals to, to come. And we'll have a team on ground that will be educating people, that will be teaching people, that will be showing people how best they can, uh, they, they, they can use these applications. We'll be helping them download it. We'll be helping them access it. We'll be helping them verify mm. information. So we have a program to reach out to everyone to ensure that uh, they are able to, to be able to validate property. All right. Now, let me just draw on uh, what could be a very contentious aspect, especially when it comes to onboarding technology in land matters. We have uh, what we know as uh, electronic signatures. Yeah. And uh, oftentimes, if the portal allows for information to be uh, shared and accessed as easily as you say, can, and this one I must be very specific, can agreements or information shared and reached technologically on phone between parties uh, be used as authentic, especially when it comes to signage and uh, authentication of uh, documents or agreements between persons, or that is entirely a legal matter? Uh, I would say it's uh, not entirely a legal matter, but uh, the commissioner will come in uh, on mm. that later on. But um, uh, maybe if I, 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 I give a little background about how the Uganda National Land Information System has equally been structured yeah. in, in, in its own way. We've been having agencies, for example, judiciary, that required for someone, if, in case there is a court case in regards to lands, mm. that required someone to, to collect a such report from the Minister of Lands to ascertain uh, ownership of property in, 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 in a case. But what we have done is that we are in the final stages of integrating with the, the, the ICMIS, that is the Electronic Court Management System That's right. of, of Judiciary, mm. which will now enable Judiciary to actually be able to verify and authenticate property within their own premises without requiring mm. anyone to come to the Ministry of Lands to, to, to provide a such report, That's which right. eliminates that. 
we are also working hand in hand with uh, URSB in terms of validating companies. Mm. We have integrated with the, the National Identification Authority mm. in terms of validation of identification. We have integrated with the Uganda Revenue Authority. Mm. We are validating payment at that level. So you find that uh, what agencies that required um, a legal document from the Minister of Lands are all being given legal access mm. to the, 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 the ministry's data. And this is based on the government's uh, plan of data sharing. Because we've been uh, directed by government that there is no need for agencies to manually mm. exchange records. These records should be available through system-to-system -system integration, which we, we are highly adapting to based on the discussions. But from the legal perspective, I think the commissioner can give in more more light on that. I'll take it on. Yeah, yes, thank you. I uh, uh, understood your uh, question to be as to whether electronic signatures, uh, electronic agreements uh, uh, can be used mm -hmm. on the land information system. Of course, in, uh, we are in the process of amending the RTA and the land related laws to confirm to electronic uh, transactions. Mm. Uh, uh, and I think when that uh, amendment is, is through, then we'll be able to, to, to go to the next stage uh, of, of having a purely uh, uh, digital system. Mm. Uh, but also you inquired uh, the question of accessibility of our public portal to Mutua Wansi. Mm. Let us not forget that uh, this public portal is accessible on the smartphone. That's right. And the smartphone has penetrated uh, uh, the country to, 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 to every local citizen. When I'm talking to my grandfather in the village, mm. I use a, he uses a mobile phone. No, using a mobile phone is yeah. one thing. Yes. That mobile phone being smart is yes. another. Yes. But let us not forget that the, the penetration, mm. the easiest really, penetration yeah. that we have is that the smartphone has penetrated. Mm -hmm. And the easiest digital platform that we have, the, uh, the tool that we have today mm. is a, a smartphone. Okay. And, and, and I think that uh, uh, this closes the gap uh, as much as possible to have this uh, information accessed. And uh, maybe one core thing that I would like to talk about is that uh, uh, the LIS, the, the LIS is not a tool only for the, for the sector of the Ministry of Lands. Mm. It's a government tool. Mm. And uh, just like the way Lenin has pointed out, is that it enables uh, all the other players on the land infrastructure to be part of it. Uh, this also goes ahead to uh, uh, to enhance uh, the protection of the uh, of the zoned areas, the forestry reserves and the wetlands, mm. having a lay on the LIS for for the, that, those protected areas, and then also it's also uh, the planners can also use it by looking at the, the, the way the land infrastructure is zoned and planned. So the LIS uh, is. Uh, hosted by the Ministry of Lands, but it's a, a government tool that enhances the, 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 the management of the entire uh, land infrastructure, uh, which includes also the collection of revenues and taxes. We also integrated with the, with the URA in terms of stamp duty. Yeah. So it's uh, one of those uh, advancements that uh, the sector has brought to, 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 to the government of Uganda. Okay. And uh, contrary to what most people may think or know, we are the most advanced on the continent. We have had delegations from South Africa, Malawi, Cote d'Ivoire. Coming to benchmark. Coming to benchmark from Uganda. Okay. Kenya coming to learn from us. Okay. Yes. Wow. Another who is cynical might think then there must be a lot of chaos in the other countries. <laughs> <laughs> but no doubt, all improvements and uh, developments that are bound to ease registration and all aspects around land matters is always a welcome move. Your last words, I begin with Lenin. Uh, thank you very much. I just want to communicate to, to the country mm. that uh, now is our time. Now we want to come to the people. There are a lot of things that are going to be coming um, after the launch of the, the portals. Mm. For example, we are going to digitize the land valuation process. The Ministry of Lands under the World Bank funding is developing a land valuation management information system, mm. which is going to take land valuation to a totally different, different level, mm. whereby, again, you will not need to come to the Ministry of Lands for, to, to do a land valuation. We are doing all this
to help our people get services easily and we are making it possible for them for example now in the, in, the, in the next phase of our upgrade the banks are going to be taken into consideration mm -hmm. actually mortgages are going to be submitted online so wow. slowly by slowly we are going to reach a point whereby even you who wants to transfer your property mm -hmm. you will not need to come to the ministry of lands to do that transfer so our processes are ongoing uh, we want to welcome each and every one of you to come to Wakiso tomorrow, residents of Wakiso, okay. to come and be with us in this, in this launch. Uh, we would like to thank uh, the government of Uganda for this initiative, of course with the support from the World Bank and our consultant IGNFI for uh, the good job that they have done for this country and that they are continuing. To okay. for this country. Maybe Thank the you. commissioner can take us through what will happen tomorrow during the launch, what people should expect, should they come uh, ready for some engagement, uh, maybe demonstrations uh, will be available? Uh, yes indeed, uh, mm. there will be uh, uh, learning, uh, mm. training and uh, showing people how the, both the public portals mm. are going to be used, the, okay. the apps on the phone and, 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 and the web. And then there will be that uh, uh, demonstration mm. of the actual exercise. And uh, yes, uh, challenges have been there in the sector. Mm. But the important question for Ugandans to address is that are we moving in the right direction? And if we're moving in the right direction, then everybody should support the sector. Mm. And of course, uh, this involves also the cleanups that we are doing, mm. the titles that we are calling for ratification. Mm. Uh, uh, Ugandans should know why we are, we are going into this direction. That's because right. uh, we cannot have uh, a, a digital system with inaccurate data. Inaccurate data. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, and of course, this calls for a lot of uh, sacrifice mm. and, 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 uh, and uh, support, mm. even from the media. Uh, uh, one thing that we are proud of as a sector is that uh, despite our complex, uh, complex tenor system, mm. we have managed to evolve and, and, and be a benchmark for so many countries around the world. Okay. Uh, 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 the government of Uganda has uh, also enhanced its uh, revenue collection through uh, 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 this system. And I think that uh, uh, all of us, Mm. should be proud of, of what the Minister well, of Lands has, has achieved throughout the years. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Commissioner Gaino, for the submissions and, of course, very reassuring words when it comes to one of the most contentious issues in the country, land, land, land. And uh, many thanks to you too, uh, Lenin uh, Victor Onyu, who is the head of the, that uh, system. Uh, I call it in the Lebanese language, digital construction that is ongoing to improve matters. That will do it for our take note, and I believe that the launch uh, tomorrow is something that uh, you should not miss that will be in uh, Wakiso. Morning at NTV, let's continue. Do stay with us.